What is life like on board an aircraft carrier that's heading toward an area where war is raging intensely? The USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, a huge floating city and the flagship of the Carrier Strike Group, carries more than 5,000 U.S. Navy sailors, all overflowing with readiness for the challenges ahead. Together with its accompanying ships and aircraft, the Carrier Strike Group forms a formidable force, ready to tackle a range of missions from combat to humanitarian aid. The atmosphere is filled with apprehension and strain as they make their way toward the turbulent Middle East, prepared to confront a conflict as dangerous as the unforgiving sea itself. But the journey itself isn't as smooth as it sounds, though heroic. The souls aboard encounter days like any other, with their lives rather different as compared to the ordinary person on land. The USS Dwight D. Eisenhower is a big deal, a powerful presence on these uncertain waters. Plus, the current state of the Middle East, with its long history and ongoing conflicts, is like a box of matches, ready to ignite at the smallest spark. And in the middle of it all, here's this huge carrier strike group, standing strong, potentially stirring the pot, ready for action at the very notice housing brave individuals trained to take on some of the most difficult tasks and live through the toughest of times. So brace yourselves as we bring you along to witness life inside this massive aircraft carrier and the carrier strike group it leads. The USS Dwight D. Eisenhower is better described as a super carrier with its extensive range of facilities and systems to support its huge crew and enable round-the-clock flight operations general missions, combative missions, defensive missions, you name it. Before we explore all the other facilities, let's first focus on the heart of the ship, the huge flight deck, which is almost 300 meters long. This vast open space is home to dozens of fighter jets and helicopters, with pilots taking off and landing daily. The flight deck crews work tirelessly directing aircraft, checking systems, arming jets and refueling, all crucial jobs to launch and recover missions safely. Plus, massive jet blast deflectors are put in place to protect personnel from being blown over by jet exhaust. That's how powerful these jets are. In addition, a complex optical landing system helps guide pilots to catch arresting wires with their tail hooks, enabling to land at over 100 miles per hour on a rather short deck. The precision required is immense, as you can imagine. Interestingly, if you look up from the flight deck, you'll spot the island tower that could be deemed as the heartbeat that keeps this carrier alive. This tower houses the ship's bridge, which serves as the nerve center and command hub for the entire vessel. Within the bridge, the captain and a team of specialized officers orchestrate and oversee all aspects of the ship's operations, utilizing a wide array of advanced technologies and systems. Comprising the bridge are state-of-the-art radars, which provide vital situational awareness by detecting and tracking nearby aircraft, ships, and other potential threats. These radars enable the crew to monitor the surrounding airspace and seas, ensuring the carrier's safety and facilitating effective mission execution. Through the data provided by the radars, the officers can make informed decisions regarding navigation, defensive measures, and operational planning. In addition to the radars, the bridge is equipped with advanced navigation systems that enable precise positioning and course plotting. These systems incorporate satellite navigation, gyro compasses, and other sophisticated tools to ensure accurate navigation in both open waters and confined spaces. The officers on the bridge rely on these systems to chart the carrier's course, avoid hazards, and maintain strategic positioning during operations. If you go below the flight deck, the hangar bay is yet another area filled with activity. Maintaining and repairing aircraft, teams of aviators and expert mechanics check hydraulics, electronics, engines, and more to ensure that every jet is ready for its next mission. What's interesting is that there are maintenance shops that handle repairs and fabrication work. The hangar bay also contains support equipment like aircraft tugs and generators. Long story short, the hangar bay is what prepares each aircraft to be brought up to the flight deck, playing a crucial role. For weapons, though, the Eisenhower incorporates a network of ordnance elevators, strategically positioned throughout its structure. 
These elevators serve a crucial role in efficiently transporting munitions from the magazines, located deep within the ship, up to the flight deck for loading onto the aircraft. These ordnance elevators are meticulously designed and engineered to handle a variety of armaments, ranging from missiles and bombs to ammunition for the carrier's onboard aircraft. The ship's magazines, securely stored in the lower decks, house an extensive stockpile of weaponry to ensure uninterrupted and sustained operations. And as expected, there is a crew responsible to ensure the safe handling of these elevators. Any mishandling could result in severe damage to the weaponry and vessel both. Remaining below the deck, the vast array of facilities also supports the crew, many comparable to a small town. These facilities are essential for meeting the needs of the thousands of sailors who call the aircraft carrier their home during deployments. One of the most significant areas below the deck is the vast mess deck, which houses professional galleys and provides seating for hundreds of sailors at a time. This area is capable of serving an astonishing number of meals each day, with up to 15,000 meals being prepared and served to the crew. The galleys feature modern cooking equipment and are staffed by highly trained culinary professionals who work tirelessly to provide nutritious and satisfying meals to sustain the crew's physical well-being. One important aspect to highlight while living on board is that in order to support the massive scale of meal service, several food storerooms are meticulously organized, ensuring a constant supply of ingredients and provisions. These storerooms are stocked with a wide variety of food items, ranging from fresh produce and meats to canned goods to non-perishables. The crew responsible for managing these storerooms carefully track inventory levels, replenish supplies as needed, and ensure that food safety standards are strictly adhered to. Also below deck, the living conditions for the sailors on board the Eisenhower are optimized to accommodate the large crew, working on rotating shift schedules. In compartments, hundreds of narrow sleeping bunks are packed closely together, providing a space for much needed rest. Adjacent to the sleeping areas, dozens of shared restrooms and showers cater to the crew's hygiene needs. The limited personal space emphasizes the importance of teamwork and morale among the sailors. Interestingly, to promote relaxation and leisure, the ship offers dedicated recreation spaces such as lounges, libraries, gyms, and even a post office. These areas allow sailors to unwind, engage in recreational activities, and connect with their loved ones back home through phone centers computers, and Wi-Fi access. Behind the scenes, though, colossal engineering spaces power the carrier's operations. Nuclear reactors generate steam, which is channeled to four main engines, driving massive propellers that propel the ship through the water. Electricians operate generators that supply enough power to meet the demands of a small city, distributing it across a complex grid. Air conditioning and filtration systems ensure that fresh air circulates through the interior maintaining a comfortable and healthy environment. It's not to be forgotten that the crew is always well prepared to handle emergencies through rigorous training conducted by damage control teams. These teams are trained to combat fires, flooding, and other potential hazards. Repair lockers are stored with specialized equipment to address any mishap, ranging from patching leaks to containing explosions swiftly and effectively. Clearly, life on board is by no means easy. It's more so a hand-in-hand -hand effort of every single person on board, ultimately combining to bring about a rather smooth day-to-day -day routine. Now, as expected, life at sea is certainly not for everyone. The ship deploys for months at a time, and it takes a strong will and tons of resilience to be away from loved ones for such a long time while facing daily challenges. Life at sea is a unique blend of routine and unpredictability. Sailors find solace in leisure activities. Some might be engrossed in a gripping novel, while others challenge their mates to a game of cards. The gym becomes a sanctuary for many, a place to shake off the day's stress and keep fit. Yet amidst these moments of leisure, there's a longing, a yearning to connect with loved ones miles away. Emails and occasional satellite calls become lifelines, precious moments to catch up and share stories. What would you say if you had just a few minutes to talk to your family after weeks at sea? These moments are cherished, etched into the sailor's heart. As we delve deeper into the world of the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, we find a community like no other. Picture thousands of crew members, each playing a vital role in this floating city. The camaraderie is palpable. 
They're brothers and sisters in arms, sharing laughter, stories, and sometimes the weight of homesickness. Yet with such close quarter living, tensions can flare. Here's a quick question for everyone watching. Would you be able to stay away from home in the middle of the ocean for months at a time? Let's see how many of you would be up for such a challenge. And while you're at it, we'd like you to consider joining our channel as a member. This will not only show your support to us, but also serve as a tribute and a pay of respect to all the brave U.S. Navy sailors and personnel. Just click the link in the description or head to our homepage and select join. We truly appreciate all of you. Anyway, let's talk about the challenges and the dangers that come with life at sea. It goes without saying that the operations on board this vessel are demanding. Precision and alertness are not just required, they're vital. The weather, unpredictable and fierce, can turn a regular day on deck into a battle against nature's wrath. The living quarters are tight, privacy is a luxury, and the constant buzz of activity can take a toll even on the most resilient sailor. Can you imagine the mental strength it takes to stay sharp when the storms hit and the seas get rough? But something that comes in to save the day on board such deployments is the camaraderie and friendships that develop that make the hardships bearable. The USS Dwight D. Eisenhower demonstrates how solidarity and the human spirit can overcome isolating environments and demanding trials. Its sailors face each day together, drawing strength from the unity and community against all odds. It's worth noting that the cramped living quarters and stressful work conditions could easily breed discord. However, more often than not, the opposite occurs. Facing adversity together forges strong bonds between the sailors. They must rely on and care for one another, both on duty and off. This shared sense of purpose and community gets them through the arduous days. The Purpose and Significance of Aircraft Carriers Now, while the carrier strike group moves through the challenging waters, it's sure to display all that the U.S. Navy rests upon. Skill, dedication, and guts like any other. The men and women on the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower keep their heads up, standing firm against the uncertainty that lies before them, doing their jobs without fear. So it's important that we understand the significance of these very vessels in the first place. Standing resilient as the most adaptable airfields across the world, these aircraft carriers are the very center of America's naval forces. Every single day, the sailors in the air wing aboard are ready for action, fully trained and equipped for a wide variety of missions. They are the masters of sea control, precision strikes, and navigating the complex realms of the electromagnetic spectrum and cyberspace. In terms of combat capabilities, no other naval force on Earth can field such a comprehensive range and depth. These mighty vessels are pivotal in supporting and operating aircraft that can launch attacks on threats on the air, at sea, and on land, ensuring the free use of the seas and projecting sustained power in support of U.S. and coalition forces. But the role of an aircraft carrier extends beyond the battlefield. They play a vital role in maritime security operations. They're equipped with advanced cyber and electronic warfare capabilities to defend against digital threats and ensure their operations remain secure. These capabilities are not only crucial for the carrier's protection, but also for safeguarding critical communication networks and data. In times of disaster and crisis, these carriers also step up as an invaluable platform for disaster response and humanitarian assistance. With helicopters for direct support, aid is quickly and safely routed to where it is needed most. This unique blend of combat power and humanitarian support showcases the unparalleled capabilities of aircraft carriers, underlining their importance in maintaining global stability and security. Such an available arsenal gives a guaranteed defense against possible dangers to the premises. And as most of us know, ensuring international stability is the carrier's responsibility, utilizing their global reach and assertive authority. The interdependence of nations in a connected world necessitates reinforcement of international laws and norms. When circumstances arise that compromise peace and security, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group, among other carriers, are capable of taking prompt action. In troubled areas, the presence of these carriers can deter aggression and promote diplomacy. 
serving as basis for crisis management and negotiations. These floating structures contribute significantly to global efforts towards conflict prevention and cooperation promotion. Aggressive actions are deterred and diplomatic solutions are catalyzed thanks to the presence of carriers in troubled regions. The carrier's ability to maintain a stout military presence worldwide enables them to play a noteworthy role in the world's equilibrium of power. Considering all of the aforementioned, it's quite evident that the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group and its analogous carriers are not just imperative resources for the US Navy, but rather they are fundamental foundations for the worldwide pursuit of preserving tranquility, safety, and steadiness. These carriers' capacity to function in international waters, assert authority, and offer humanitarian assistance make them an absolute necessity in our intricate and interconnected society. The servicemen and women who serve aboard these carriers are not only safeguarding their country, but they are also maintaining a tradition of brilliance, innovation, and dedication in the pursuit of a more secure and safe global community. To appreciate these brave people and show support to them, let's leave a blue heart in the comments below. We have tons of veterans who watch our videos and they truly appreciate the solidarity that we show. Deployments and Operations In a nutshell, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group is a versatile and vital component of American naval power. Whether it's launching airstrikes, providing humanitarian aid, exercising with allies, patrolling the high seas, or demonstrating global reach, this group plays a critical role in maintaining peace and security around the world. It's a testament to the skill, dedication, and bravery of the men and women who serve aboard the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower and its accompanying vessels. One of the signature missions of the Ike CSG, as she's affectionately known as, is conducting precision airstrikes. This strike group has made headlines during its deployments in the Arabian Sea and the Persian Gulf. In one memorable operation, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower launched F-A-18 Hornets and other aircraft to strike ISIS targets in support of Operation Inherent Resolve. Their coordinated efforts helped degrade the terrorist organization's capabilities and protect the region from further threats. But the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group isn't just about firepower. Following the catastrophic earthquake in Haiti in 2010, the Dwight D. Eisenhower Strike Group swiftly responded, providing medical aid, essential supplies, and helicopter support. They facilitated crucial relief efforts, showcasing their versatility in times of crisis. During a deployment to the Caribbean, they responded swiftly to the devastation caused by Hurricane Matthew in 2016. Their ability to deliver aid and supplies to affected areas saved lives, helped communities get back on their feet. This humanitarian mission was a testament to their adaptability and readiness to assist those in need. Their ability to swiftly deliver aid and supplies made a significant impact in aiding the affected population during a time of dire need. The Ike CSG's commitment to strengthening alliances is evident in its participation in international exercises. The Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group's global reach was exemplified in a 2020 deployment that saw them move from the Middle East to the Atlantic Ocean. In historic feat, they transited out of the Suez Canal twice, reinforcing the group's dynamic and agile nature. This ability to swiftly shift focus from one region to another ensures that the United States can respond to emerging threats wherever they may arise. As of now, though, duty rests heavily upon the U.S. Navy sailors aboard the Dwight D. Eisenhower Strike Group as they undertake a momentous task. Distant memories of home and loved ones fade away with each passing day. They understand the importance of their actions, contributing to a far greater purpose than just their own needs. The USS Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group exemplifies American strength and dedication. As they journey onwards, a crucial question persists in the atmosphere. Given the world's current high tensions and soaring stakes, could the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group's actions and mere existence in the Middle East forestall a potentially catastrophic upsurge to World War III? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, and if you loved it, then please subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you will be showing us your support, which we truly appreciate and cherish. 
Keep an eye out as we continue to bring more entertaining and educational content on the U.S. Navy and other maritime topics. So hit that bell icon so you get notifications every time we post a new video. Thank you, and we'll catch you in the next one.